it's Samantha from Jesse My Tutorials here and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean and sharpen your tissue blades. So eventually once you've used your tissue blades for a while they will dull and so I'll be showing you how to sharpen them but you also want to keep them clean between projects. So I've just finished using these and so you can see that I've got lots of fingerprints and clay residue and things on them so this is also going to dull your um, cuts and it also is going to get all over your clay so you don't really want that so I'll talk about cleaning first and I'm going to be using alcohol spray water and a cloth so what you want to do first is I'm just going to lay out this cloth nicely then I'll just take this and I'll just give it a bit of a spray on that side and a bit of a spray on that side and then you want to clean it off now be careful with your fingers and there we can see that's already cleaning up nicely Yeah, and the alcohol spray will get off all of that clay residue and will clean up your blades nicely. So just give it a nice scrub with the alcohol spray. Okay. And just be careful of your fingers when you're doing this. Okay, then I'm just going to spray a little bit of water on it. And then you don't want to be leaving these wet. You want to be wiping them off as soon as you spray them and just make sure that they're nice and dry because the water can rust your blade but it's good to keep it clean so just make sure the important thing here is just to make sure that you do dry off your blade correctly but there you are that's how I like to keep my blades nice and clean so you can see it's much cleaner now now the fingerprints are just a function of it so you can see I've got fingerprints there but now you can see this one versus this one. So you can see it's much cleaner and much nicer. So that's how I like to keep my blades clean. Now I'll show you how I like to keep them sharp. Okay, so there are multiple ways that you can use to sharpen your blades. The most common one that I've found is to use sandpaper and just fold it over and rub that against the blade. And now I'll show that in a minute. Another one that is something that I've seen is where you take the bottom of a ceramic mug of some kind or pot so this is a ceramic piece I have and then scrape the blade against the edge over here so you can see that I've been using this pot and then another one that I thought of which is similar to sandpaper but it's a bit safer is to use a nail file and you use that against the blade so I'll be showing this with a stiff blade and then I'll be showing the sandpaper first and now this one I don't really recommend because it's a little dangerous so you can see so that that this is quite dangerous so if you're careful it's okay but it's not really something I would recommend so that will get off quite a bit of residue or it will sharpen off up your blade a bit and then you want to clean up your blades afterwards because I'll see if I can show you here there you can see it takes off some material so you want to sharpen up your blade off or you want to clean it up afterwards so that's the one way of sharpening it and you can use it but it's a little dangerous another way which is much better is to use a ceramic mug and this one takes a while but you basically rub your blade at an angle against the muck and the thing is this only does part of your blade unlike the sandpaper so so you need to flip sometimes and do both sides but this one sharpens it up pretty well so you can see it we've got a dark area over there so it's taking off material and I'll just wipe off my blade again and that one doesn't take off as much material as the um, sandpaper does so it's a bit slower now I'll show you the nail file so your hands are safely out your way over here 
and then you just go with the nail file at an angle and sharpen up your blade and this is my preferred method this is how I've been sharpening my blades for ages and I find that it's easy it's safe never hurt myself with it so long as you use a nice stiff nail file it works really well and just remember to do both sides and always keep your hands way back on the nail file don't be up close like this when you're doing it you want to have them right back and so long as you have a nice stiff nail file it will work nicely there we go I'll just bring over this cloth and show you how much residue we got off so we got off a fair bit there so now you would want to go back with the alcohol spray and you'd want to clean this off to get off any grit or grime but that's basically how I like to sharpen my blade and also that is how I like to clean my blade and this is how I keep my blades in good condition for a long period of time so you don't need to throw away your blades and go get a new pair so that's how I like to do it and so I do hope that this video was helpful to you and if it was please do let me know as that's always helpful to me and please do check out my website jessimatutorials.com I have articles and places where you can send in pictures and all sorts of things on there that I'm sure you guys will love so please do check that out as that always is helpful to me and as always I hope to see you in the next tutorial bye for now